morning, everybody. How are you tonight? I hope everybody is doing awesome. I am going to share a video and invite a couple of people on with us. So whenever you are here, um, give me a thumbs up. Let me know. Say hey. Give me some hearts. Um, just let me know that you're on with me. Do, 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 do. What is everybody up to tonight? We are going to be doing um, a purple eye look at the request of one of my lovely friends. Let's see. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Hey guys. Hey Angie. Okay. I already put on um, some moisturizer and primer before we got started. And I'm just going to do a few dabs of liquid foundation to get some coverage because I have super dry pink skin right now. Just give us a good foundation to start with. I'm using my beauty blender today because that is going to help me kind of get it exactly where I want it. Get that nice coverage without getting like really crazy wonky coverage. Hey Amber. Hey Alexis. I mean seriously guys, I love this liquid foundation. Look at the coverage that gave me and covered up all that pink area under my eyes and across my cheeks. Like easy peasy. I also like to use just a little bit of our concealer um, to cover up these dark circles I have under my eyes. My designer bags. Hey, Megan. Um, I always just put a little bit on. And I'm going to use my beauty blender to mix that in too. You always want to go across, cover your eyes, and then come down on your cheeks just a little bit so you can kind of mix that in. Hey, Cheryl. I know some people do their eye makeup first and then do their foundation. Um, I've tried it both ways, and for me, it's just preference. I like to do my um, foundation first. Um, it seems like every time I do my eye makeup first and then I put my foundation on, I ruin my eye makeup. So I would rather start with my foundation and then fix a little bit of fallout if there is any, then try to fix my eye makeup because it never fails. I will be super in love with my eyes and I've run it. Ruin it. Okay. So I usually do this first and then I go back in. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Christy. Hello, Emily. And then I will fill in um, like blush and anything else. That way I'm not having to fix anything if I have any fallout. I do like to use a big fluffy brush and just a little bit of setting powder to help that concealer stay in place so it doesn't go anywhere. And it just helps kind of set it. If you guys don't have this setting powder, you should. I absolutely love it. Um, it's called Behold Setting Powder, especially if you do pictures and things like that. If you're a photographer, you need to have this stuff on hand. It helps makeup stay in place and it helps take that sheen off. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. So I'm going to, I had a request to do purple eyes tonight. So I'm going to use a combination of two different palettes. And this is the first time I've used palettes in a while. So to start, this is palette number three. And it has, this is an awesome, cool toned date night palette. I'm trying to get it where it's not so much of a glare, guys. I'm sorry. Um, it's got purples and a gray and shimmers in it and mattes. And then I may steal the purple out of this one. This is my um, unicorn palette. It's palette number five. And this one uh, is the definition of bold. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. But I think I'm going to start with is I'm going to use Flippant um, out of this one, this color, just as a nice transition, just to start us off. It's purple, but it's not. That is kind of purple. And it's got a little bit of shimmer to it, but then it's not going to be too much if we um, start blending in some other colors. It'll be really good transition. 
So for this part, I'm literally just taking my deluxe brush and I'm going to cover my entire lid. Okay, it's my fluffy brush. Hey Marie! And I'm just literally covering everything. I'm going to use it as that transition. Um, I'm going to give it a good base coat and then we'll go back in and start adding in some other color. Eye makeup, um, I'm still learning. I'm definitely not a pro by any means, um, but it used to be way more intimidating to me and I have really learned some easy techniques that make it a lot easier. So, um, I don't really have hooded eyes. My color, that just seems like, whew, bright today. Okay. So for transition colors, it's all about blending. It's easy to get a good smoky eye or any type of color, um, but you want to be able to blend. So you don't have like harsh lines. You don't want it to go all the way up to your eyebrow or above. So um, that really light purple, I literally just went a little bit above my crease. Because when you do eye makeup, you want to be able to see it when your eyes are open. Um, it's great if your eyes are closed and you've got all this really pretty eye makeup here. But if you can't see it when your eyes are open, what good is it? So that's why I always bring mine up just a little bit higher and this is a really soft color so we can add to it and build and it's not going to be like crazy. That is something you want to be careful with. You can always add more color but it's hard to take it away once it's there. So I think I may go for like a halo eye tonight which is like when you have darker on the outer and the inner and it kind of comes together and you blend it. Um, I'm going to use this dark purple just a little bit with an angled brush. Hey Darlene, hey Melinda. Let me know if you guys share the video so I know um, who to shout out and thank. So for this, I'm literally just going to start in this corner directly out and then I'm going to drag it over just a little bit, okay? So I'm going to have this darker purple, and I might add a couple different colors in there. So we really get that nice, bold look. I'm going to put it there, and I'm also going to do the same thing here on the inner corner of my eye. I love these makeup brushes from Unique. They are so soft and they do exactly what you need them to do. Hey Hannah. So what does everybody have going on this week? Work for us has been crazy the last few days. Um, thankfully I've been at home this weekend and I kind of had a chance to sleep and snuggle the boys and recoup a little bit but I don't know what this coming week is going to look like but hopefully it's not too terribly crazy so when you do a halo eye you always want to do a little bit darker on both corners and then you're going to kind of drag it across the top and we're going to blend that in okay I'm really excited because I'm going to try another one of our um, new crushes tonight. We're going to try casual. So this color. Oh, because we're going to do a really bold eye. So we want a lighter colored lippy. All right. Do the same thing with this other color, purple. Because I really want to, it's called cheeky. And I'm really just going to darken up these outer corners a little bit. I love it. I love purples. I don't play with them near enough, I don't think. If you 
you guys don't know about our trip to Cancun, I am claiming it and I'm putting it out into the world. It's going to happen. Scott and I will be in Cancun from October 18th to 22nd. But I can't wait. We're going to be getting to go for free, all-inclusive trip paid for by Unique with the support of our lovely friends. And I cannot wait. If you guys are wanting to go, it is not too late. The incentive period just opened up. And brand new presenters, this is like the absolute perfect time to jump in and start because you get your kit, which you get two choices this year for the next this month and next month. You can get all about the eyes or skincare. Hey, Danielle. And you get free unique cash. You get free product credit and you get points towards Cancun already. This is the first time they've ever done that. Um, and they uh, have this amazing fast start program, which is for all new presenters anyway. It's for your first 90 days of being a presenter. And if you meet that goal, which I can help you with that, you get 10,000 points. It's like a third of the earning period. All yours to get you to Cancun. You and plus one for free. All inclusive. So you get drinks, food, everything is absolutely 100% paid for. I am so excited. I cannot wait. I didn't start last year until March, and I didn't even consider that it was a possibility that I could earn that trip. And I didn't try as hard as I probably could have because I could have had that trip last year. Even um, starting in March and only having through the end of June to earn, I was over 50% of the way there, and I didn't really try until the very end. Um, they're always doing these awesome incentives for us to earn points, so it is never too late to try it. Hey, Lindsay. So now that I'm getting to start from the first start of the starting period, I'm putting it out into the world. It is happening, and we are going to Cancun. I've not been to Mexico. Any of you guys that are watching, have you been to Mexico before? Have you gone? Because I've not been there. My husband has, but I have not. Give me some hearts if you guys have been to Cancun, and let me know all the stuff that you loved about it. Sorry, I'm trying to get my liquid eyeliner open. I love these liquid eyeliners, but I'm like still learning how to use them because they're so fine. Does anybody else struggle with winged liner? Because I do. I struggle hard with winged liner. It is so not my thing. I practice, 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 and eventually I'll be a professional at it. Hey, Trisha. Okay. Ah! One of my favorite things to do is use my Epic and my 3D lashes at the same time. Love, love, love it. It just gives your lashes so much more added length and volume. And you cannot tell me that you don't need any good mascara or length in your lashes. Because every girl needs a good mascara. Mm 
do that. Let this sit for a second. Whenever you use the 3D fiber lashes, you always want to do gels, fibers, gel. So when I use Epic, I use that as the first coat of gel. I use my Epic and I get my lashes all separated and nice and lengthened a little bit where they're standing out already. And then I will use my 3D lashes. So then I add the fibers on top of that. So it's going to help give it the volume and more length. And then you let that set for just a second and then you're going to seal it on with the gel because I don't like to get the fibers in my Epic Mascara. So I let it sit and then we just go ahead and seal it in with the gel. If you guys have not checked out our new kits yet, you need to because it is such a good deal. You don't want to miss out on them. There are two different kits right now. Two, two, two. Two different kits which is unheard of. We've never done that before. So now you get to get completely spoiled with either all eye makeup, including brushes and everything, or you get completely spoiled with all the skincare. I am so excited about that. I wish that I was had the opportunity to jump in at this point and get one of those skincare packs. Because that is what I would be spoiling myself with. So just adding a little bit of blush, a little bit of bronzer. And for the last part, we are going to use our new crush in Casual. And actually, they last night I tried this and they um, I didn't have great staying power. And it kind of smeared just a little bit. But like I said last night, I'm still working with this. I just got it yesterday. Um, but one of the things I read was to use a lip liner before you put it on. So we're going to try that. Oh, this stuff is so cool. Okay. It's a little bit darker than I expected. I was thinking it was going to be a little bit more pink, so I probably could have picked a better liner to go with it. Gosh, they go on so smooth. All right, guys, there you have it. Um, lip powder crush lipstick and casual. I love it. All right, guys, thank you so much for jumping on and hanging out with me tonight. I know it was a little bit longer because we did a whole face. Um, please let me know if you have any questions. Please share the video. I It's so very much appreciated, and I hope you all have an amazing night and a wonderful week, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Mwah.